Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I want to quickly talk about the raiding meta, or however you want to call it, and about the issues with Magic Templar, Dragonites, and Wardens. Just in general, as you know, like the meta changed a lot with Morrowind because of the huge sustain nerfs. Now, I myself preferred the pre Morrowind meta way more. The combat was way more engaging, faster paced, and just less pain in the ass. I don't know, at least it felt like. You can see, like, this footage here, I think. It is from uh, the Homestead update, so I think Homestead, yeah, I think it was Homestead and then Morrowind dropped. And here you can see we basically had most setups. Pre-Morrowind, you didn't see a lot of stamina setups. They already could pull really high damage, but they were just dying too easily. Most people had a lot of issues surviving. With stamina setups, that's why you barely saw any of, like, any stamina setups in trials. Now the thing is, you can see we have dragon knights here, we have templars, sorks, knight blades. It was a re actually a pretty good group composition. Later on, we also had like some one, two stem setups that did really nice and all the kind of stuff. So it was nice. Now with Morrowind. When we went into Morrowind, the meta kind of changed a little bit. Uh, like I said, Sanimax nerfed the sustain really hard. They removed the cost reduction from the CP, which was fine, I think. But at the same time, they overdid it and they also nerfed the medium and light armor, cost reduction passives and the bubbles, which was 100% unnecessary. And basically pissed off everyone and that's why like 80% of the endgame raiders just quit the game. So there a lot of people had to change to heavy attack builds. Now Magicka suffer more from it in my opinion. Because stem setups with dual wield heavy attacks. The dual wield heavy attacks are still really fast. And just in general, they didn't lose as much damage as magic setups. So the meta kind of shifted melee stamina setups, ranged magic setups. That's where the problem is, and still is, because when we look at magic DKs, magic templars, or magic wardens, uh, magic wardens just are not as good as the other setups. They just suck more. It's as simple as that in Pv PVE, at least. If you look at Dragonbone's PTS, yes, yes, Templars, Magicka Templars and Magicka DKs deal more damage than on the life server. But does it matter in a trial environment? Probably not. Most people that do veteran trials want to have optimized groups and therefore always choose setups that do more damage. Because you, can't, you don't want to handicap yourself, the trials are already very difficult. Especially if you look at like Pulse and Asylum or like V Mall maybe and all that kind of stuff. They're very difficult. Most guilds even have problems to get to the end with Vitality left. That's now the problem. You have ranged setups, Magicka Night Blades and Magicka Sorks, which deal really good damage ranged. Magicka Night Blade even more so than Sorks, and next patch Night Blade will even pull more ahead. And probably most setups will run one Sorg because you want the Liquid Lightning Synergy and you want the passive from the Sorg. I think the Spell Crit passive, the increased Spell Crit and that's it. Everything else, range Nightblade, nothing else matters. Then in melee you have the Stamina setups. Since Morrowind all Stamina setups can more or less pull the same damage. No matter what you run, stem DK, stem Sorg, stem Nightblade, Templar or Warden. They more or less have the same damage. Oh, most people choose to run a stem DK because it's the easiest to sustain. And all that kind of stuff. I mean, when Morrowind came out, I kind of tested most stem setups. And, like, some of them had more damage, but it was just really hard to sustain. You had to focus way too much on resource management and all that kind of stuff. 
So stem DK was the obvious choice. And now here too. Why would you run a Magicka Templar or a Magicka Dragon Knight? Or a Magicka Warden in a melee spot if you can pull way more damage with a stamina setup? That's the problem. So like those setups are just sandwiched. They do less damage ranged and they do like they do less damage than a Night Blade or a Magicka Sword ranged. And they do less damage than stem setups in melee. That's why you don't see them anymore. It's like, well, yeah. I mean, if you look at the footage here, we also, I think that was at the beginning of Morrowind. We still had a Magicka Dragon Knight with us. Maybe even two, actually. I can't remember. I also run Magicka Templar sometimes. Just tested out other stuff in general. <laughs> and it was quite fast, clear. They just can't compete anymore in the melee spot compared to pre Morrowind. Yeah, and I, I'm i not sure how Sanimax wants to change that, because if they just buff the damage of dots and all that stuff, it's gonna be an issue in PvP. They will do too much damage and all that kind of thing, so... I don't think they will manage to balance it always, but in the end... It could be worse, I guess. Like, you could see only one class setup. I mean, when we look at Templar, uh, at the tanking, I guess the situation is worse because it's DKs or go home in wet trials, right? At least in the more difficult one. <laughs> Same with healers, you usually have Templars and that's it. Sure, wardens actually in tanking spots and healing also work, but still. Most raid groups still run only Templars, so it's not only a DD issue, more overall, kind of the problem is just, I don't think it's fixable like this. You will never see a full group composition like we saw pre-Morrowind, where it was way more balanced in my opinion. I don't mind Stamina doing more damage in melee spots, I just wish they had a solution for Dragon Knights and Templars. Or either ranged or just some others, other stuff. But I don't think they will figure out a good option. Anyway. Who knows? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe somebody will come up with some fancy stuff. Maybe we'll see a Magic a Dragonite with Engulfing Flames. Because with the off-balance changes. More play people will run fire blockade. More fire skills and all that kind of stuff. So it might be nice to have one. On the other hand just the tank could run engulfing flames and problem solved so yeah what is your opinion on the this kind of matter in terms of raiding like i just i mostly talked about the raiding in dungeons it really doesn't matter like what you run you can run anything i had a lot of fun with my magic templar in the new pts dungeons on the Dra dragon bones pts really fun to play but like i said I, it I can bring it into wet trials, but I already know I cannot compete with other setups in the melee spot. So yeah, what is your opinion on this subject? Please let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Cheers.